triglyceride structure and function. What are triglycerides? With all of the news about cholesterol, it is no wonder that many people wonder just what are triglycerides. It is a good question because triglycerides and cholesterol are two different, yet related, things. Treating a problem with one does not necessarily correct a problem with the other. Triglycerides are a kind of fat, or lipid, which is carried in your blood. The tri, or three, of the word triglyceride, comes from the fact that three molecules of fat make up the triglyceride, three molecules of fatty acid join with one glyceride molecule. The primary function is to provide energy to the body's cells. Triglycerides and Cholesterol Floating through your blood along with triglycerides is the HDL and the LDL cholesterol. Together these are referred to as blood lipids or fats. In fact, when you have a lab test called a lipid profile done, the level of triglycerides, total cholesterol, HDL cholesterol and LDL cholesterol are measured. While all of these blood fats are lipids and all are tested in the lipid profile, each of these has a different function in the body. And not all are elevated at the same time. In fact, you can have a normal total cholesterol level, yet have a high triglyceride level. And the treatment of a high triglyceride level is different than the treatment of a high cholesterol level. Where do triglycerides come from? It comes from two sources. Our food, our body makes them. We get from food come from the carbohydrates and fat we eat. The way our body produces it, for about 8 hours after you eat, your liver takes the triglycerides you ate from the bloodstream, wraps them in protein packages and sends them off to the tissues that need it to function. When there are no dietary triglycerides available, your liver produces them. The liver wraps the triglycerides it makes in protein packages, called lipoproteins, and lets these circulate in the bloodstream. As they circulate around, any cells that may need them for energy, take them in to be used. Any excess continues to float around or the extra is stored in the fat cells. Actually, most of the excess is stored in your body's fat. When your body needs more of it, if there is none circulating in the bloodstream, your body sends out hormones to release the triglycerides from the fat cells. Unfortunately, if you live the average American lifestyle, your body doesn't need to call too often for your fat cells to give up some triglycerides you have plenty floating around in your blood all the time. In fact, too much and this high triglyceride level is the problem. Now that you have learned just what are triglycerides, continue reading to learn about the damage they can do and how to score better on your next blood test. Lower triglycerides Lower triglycerides are an important part of your health overall. Consider it just as important as lower weight, a lower blood pressure or a lower cholesterol level. It's all a part of the big picture of good health. Many people assume that the triglyceride level is a sign of heart health. Perhaps that's because it's usually measured along with your cholesterol level. And, it is a good indicator, along with your cholesterol level, of the health of your heart. However, the level of triglycerides impact not just your heart, 
but other vital organs organs that, if they fail, death is usually not far behind. Lower triglycerides and your pancreas The pancreas is usually talked about in cases of high blood sugar and diabetes but the pancreas also plays a role in handling the number of triglycerides in your blood. The pancreas is a gland and it secretes not only insulin to help break down the sugar you eat, it also secretes an enzyme to help digest the fat you eat. When excess amounts of sugar and fat are eaten, the pancreas needs to work very hard to digest it all. The harder it works, the more stress is placed on it. The pancreas, like a muscle when worked, gets bigger and thicker. Over time, continually overworking the pancreas can make it inflamed, causing a condition called pancreatitis. Pancreatitis begins as an acute disease and can lead to a chronic problem. Continual abuse of the pancreas can lead to pancreatic failure and possibly pancreatic cancer. Lower triglycerides and your liver. Your liver plays a major role in the digestion of triglycerides and how your body uses it, it needs and handling the excess. Similar to the pancreas, a consistently high triglyceride level puts a lot of stress on the liver and leads to liver disease and eventual failure. So, it only makes sense that lower triglycerides promote the health of your liver. Lower triglycerides and your brain. If you have too many of it in your blood, your blood becomes thick and sludgy. Not only can this lead to heart attacks and strokes, but your brain doesn't get the oxygen it needs to function well. Forgetfulness and dementia can result from a long-term deficiency of the oxygen your brain needs. Lower triglycerides means better health. So, overall, while your body needs triglycerides for health, too much is unhealthy. It is unhealthy not only for your heart, but also your liver, your pancreas and your brain. These are all very important body organs that affect so much more within your body. That is why these are often referred to as the vital organs without them, you can't live. Normal triglyceride levels Following the guidelines set by the American Heart Association, normal triglyceride levels are less than 150 mg slash DL. It is tested on blood was taken after fasting overnight preferably 12 hours. What tests check my triglyceride levels? Usually, your triglyceride level is checked as part of the lipid panel, which also checks your cholesterol level. If your doctor says he is going to have your cholesterol checked, that is typical with the lipid panel test. If you look at the test results, you may see the abbreviations TG or TRIG. These refer to triglycerides. Subscribe our channel for future videos, visit our website holisticmeaning.com for more informative articles.